Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join the Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Papa Beer for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Alright, well today is the start of the TOL grind. I currently have this inventory setup and gear setup going for me. I'm gonna have to switch my pet perks real quick and I also do have 1.5 mil monster tickets. And that is because I'm gonna head on over to the monster perk shop and unlock Righteous Warrior for 1.5 mil tickets. This is gonna make it so that any defensive lowering special attack will always be accurate which is great because I do have a BGS and I'm going to be using this on the first room and also the boss room of all of my TOL fights. It's definitely a big purchase because these tickets could be sold for like 500 mil almost, but I think this is going to be a little bit more worth it in the long run. Oh yeah, and speaking of switching the perks, I just remembered, luckily I could have almost went the entire episode without doing this, but I did just remember that I kind of want to try to drop a Borky while also having my Necromancer pet out while in the TOL raid just to see if I can switch pets mid raid i know i can do that in the instance zone and i can do it in a lot of other places but i don't know if i'll be able to do it in the raid if i could that would be perfect because with my necro baby i could use fast hands fighter's fury and also overloaded and then just switch over to my ranged perks when i go into the third room that would save me quite a bit of doses since i'm going to be doing this for weeks and um it would also make my pet perk management a little bit better right now i currently just have fast hands fighter's fury and rapid fire so if i'm not able to drop borky while in the TOL raid. This is just what I'm going to be working with. And I currently have only 15 completed runs at TOL and that's mainly because I was doing the adventure path and maybe a few weekly tasks here or there. So I will be a little bit rusty today for sure. I haven't done them in a while and I haven't done many to begin with. So it's going to be a bit tough. And with this inventory setup and gear setup, I think I probably will get kills within like 12 to 15 minutes, which means about four runs per hour if I complete all four of them. And that's not too bad because I will be doing around five hours of TOL today. That would be 20 runs through just one episode, which is a lot, but um, I don't think I'm going to get 20 runs. I'm probably going to die a few times since I'm going to be rusty, like I mentioned before, and I'm really aiming for like 8 to 12 completions today. With 8 to 12 completions, I should probably get an item. Not saying it's going to be a good item, but hopefully it can be a good item. I mean, that would be great. I'm also going to do 90% of these runs at TOL solo because the raid scales with the amount of players you have so any more than like two or three people and the raid just gets a lot harder and even then when you have two or three people there's just a lot of errors that can go on with it especially in the boss fight and I just feel like the solos are a lot easier and more consistent the only time I would do runs with another player probably is if they were really geared and they had a lot of experience with this raid not saying I'm the best player in the world but I'm just saying that it's probably for the best just to do solos if I want consistent kills and it looks like I can drop Borky while in the waiting room, but I want to see if I can actually drop him within the real raid. So let's do these special attacks, switch over to my Elder Chaotic Mall, and then see if I can drop Borky, and I can. Okay, so after this kill, I will go and kind of fix my pet perks a little bit, because if I can use both of these pets, everything is going to be so much easier. I'm really glad someone brought that up in my comment section, because I would have not thought about that. It seems pretty obvious, but it's just something I wouldn't have thought of. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm only really going to show big updates or maybe only mention parts when I'm rambling about something but for now I think I'm just gonna do the raids I will actually mention this real quick the rapier is so much better here than the tent whip of course that seems obvious but this makes the second room so much quicker and easier because you're just constantly doing good and high damage when attacking the rangers whereas with the whip every now and then you'd hit well but I mean you would just be a little bit inaccurate with it and it would take a while anyways I'll see you when I get to the boss room and then I'll get my first loot key There's no fucking way. Oh, that's actually crazy right there. I didn't have my Bandos pet insured. I turned off the overlay and I didn't know. Well, shit. I don't know what to do now. That fucking sucks. The first run of the TOL raids and I'm already making mistakes like that. I thought I only needed to use one more skull and I didn't realize I needed to use two. So I knew I was going to take a little bit of damage right when I clicked to use the skull and the marking came in at the same time. But when I ran over to the door to go to the next room, I didn't realize that I was still going to be getting hit. So I didn't use any bruise or anything 
anything. I just thought the room was going to be over, but I needed one more skull, I think. Damn it, dude. What a blunder. First run. This is great. I, I mean, all the buildup just for that. The worst part about it all is that I lost my Borky pet and I, I don't have anything else to use as a secondary pet now. I mean, it's just, it's gone. I didn't ensure it. I, I, why, I, I don't know why I didn't do that. I thought I did. Wait, didn't I? I went down to sacrifice them. Did I not ensure it? Ah, oh, damn it, dude. I definitely didn't. It's gone. <laughs> I have no other pet. Now I have nothing to drop for my range switch. I'm just going to have to keep these current perks that I have here, which is Fast Hands, Fighter's Fury, and Rapid Fire. I'm going to be using a lot of doses of Overloads, at least two throughout in the entire raid, maybe three doses. And I'm also not going to have my Sharpshooter active for the fourth room, or the third room, I mean. So, damn, that sucks. All right, well, I guess there's no point in just sitting here and complaining i'm just gonna have to work with what i got it's not the worst thing in the world i'm just gonna have to use a couple of extra overload doses and i'll do a little bit less damage with my range setup actually let me go grab a fucking blowpipe why do i have a bofa here jesus what am i doing i guess i was just destined to fail since the start huh no insured borky pet and also i had a bofa with me and i didn't even notice all right let's try this again i'm gonna see you when i get my next loot key or my first loot key because i died on the very first run and lost my pet and now everything sucks dude this is ridiculous i forgot my fucking stamina's and now i'm gonna die at the end of the room it's over i just i didn't have any run i couldn't get away from the spiders i can't fucking believe it dude i can't Oh my god. I've died twice in a row now to things that I haven't died to in months. One time because I didn't really pay too much attention to a health bar, and the other time is because I ran out of run and I forgot my stamina. I honestly did expect to die a couple of times today, but I expected them to be reasonable deaths like at the boss room, but now I'm just dying to random shit. Matter of fact, I bet money that I won't die to the end boss one single time throughout today's video because I'm not going to get there. I'm just going to keep dying it looks like. All right, there we go. See, TOL is easy as long as you don't die to some random shit. Um, I mean, there we go. I told you I wasn't going to die to the boss, but I probably will continue to die to other things in the future just because I'm either not paying attention or I do something stupid. But the first death was just a rare, like, anomaly. The second one was because I honestly forgot about the stamina, so we should be good from now on. The boss fight is not that hard. Every other room is not that hard. I'm... I'm pretty sure I should be good from now on. I mean, just, just I, I'm not going to die. I'm too good to die. I've never died before. Anyways, let's go ahead and get our first item of this TOL grind. Again, I'm going to be doing this for a long time. So let's start it off with a bang and get something really nice here. And actually, that's not how you do it. Let's go ahead and use the key on the chest and get a bunch of nothing. Every time with the Elder Chaotic Mall, I get cursed mid-swing and I die from it. I'm not going to really complain about that one though because that one was like an actual death that makes sense. But the first two, those were just annoying. The first two deaths were annoying. I'm going to come into deaths like that at the boss room. I I don't know, dude. I guess the whole thing about not dying at the boss room was just nonsense because here we are. I actually wonder if using the rapier in the boss fight is going to be the best option because it's not going to do as much damage, but it will be safer because with the Elder Chaotic Mall, if I go to swing my attack and at the last second, just as we saw, I get cursed, I'm going to do probably like a thousand to fifteen hundred damage most of the time unless i get lucky and there's no way to react to that i can't eat in time i can't walk away and stop the attack animation it's gonna go through every time and again like i said that's just something that's gonna happen so it's not really anything that's too annoying but it is gonna get me killed a couple of times so i wonder if just using the rapier would be safer because there's only one attack all right so let's try this again i'm going to continue to use my elder chaotic mall for now just because it is the best option when it comes to getting the boss fight over with as quick as possible and also it just comes down to timing so i have to have some pretty unfortunate luck in order to kill myself with the curses and the elder chaotic mall at the same time so i'm i'm pretty much just going to use the elder chaotic mall but if that happens too often during this little grind that i'm going to have for the next couple of weeks then i will switch to the rapier just because it'll be a little bit easier to deal with and it will get me more consistent kills of course a quick tip i have for the markings and curses for all the new players that could possibly be watching is just to look at your chat box for like the entire fight that's pretty much all you have to do whenever any sort of mechanic comes through that can really 
really damage you a lot it's gonna show up in your chat box so whenever any sort of red text spawns i just run away like that and this is actually a lightning strike so i'm running the wrong way but you get the point there's no way i'm getting stunned in the lightning strike why does that happen every time too dude i've had so many deaths like that as well i get stunned and marked and then i get stunned in the lightning strike and then i'm trying to run away but since i'm stunned it's not registering that i'm clicking away so i'm running this way with the lightning strike and dying oh my god i hate this game so much sometimes it's definitely not a skill issue i would never die i mean obviously i'm the best player on the server and it's never my fault it's just every time it's something else of course i mean why would it be me here i am trying to give maybe one or two new players that are watching the video a little tip for tol at the boss fight and then i instantly die and i've died like four times already so maybe don't listen to me the deaths in this video are the most random deaths ever we have one death where i honestly just thought the room was over and i just didn't see things properly which can definitely be my fault but that's something that's not going to really happen ever again the second death was because i forgot a stamina potion so again it was my fault because i should have brought one but that's not going to happen again because i'm not going to forget my stamina the third death happened because the elder chaotic mall and the curse came in at the exact same time and damaged me for like 1300 damage instantly and then the final one that was definitely my fault because even though i got stunned in the lightning strike i could have just not put myself in a bad position and went to the proper spot right away but i was recording and i kind of lost focus during the boss fight and didn't realize it was a lightning strike at first and put myself in a bad spot so again definitely a few of those were my fault but they're not things that are going to happen a lot in the future at all and that's definitely just annoying that all of that has happened already i expected it to happen during this grind through tol within the next couple of weeks but not all in one episode but that's okay because i'm going to stop talking through my runs and just focus up a little bit and get like five runs done in a row and open up all the keys for you guys much better right there everything went pretty much according to plan no fugues going on and now i get my rapier here we go a free two bill and actually i get nothing i just get flask which is nice because that saves me the little bit of convenience of just going to the decanter but at the same time it's not even that big of a deal let's go ahead and speed run a couple more kills right here back to back another successful kill let's go ahead and get a bowstring i called the rapier last time obviously i didn't get that but i will definitely get a bowstring that's a guaranteed drop at this point and I got nothing again that's okay though the rates aren't too bad at tol i know eventually i'm gonna get a really good item or at least a decent item my tol hard count is now eight i was starting with 15 because that includes the easy raids that i did during the adventure path but now i should have 18 total raids completed i think yeah 18 because i've done three today so 15 plus 3 is 18 that is very good math i'm i'm learning You can see what I mean about the FPS and all the lag, right? That's why I was wanting to wait for my new computer, but it looks like that's not going to happen. I mean, it will happen. Just, you know, I had to start on this small client size and old computer. You know, I can't wait for forever. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this key right here and get a good drop. I mean, I got to get one, right? Nothing. I will get one eventually. I'll get one more key for this episode and I'll definitely get it. Trust me. I'm not going to call what drop it's going to be because that's just not going to happen. I figured, you know, might as well try it on the first few this is going to be my 20th completed raid so that'll be five for today which is a little bit under my goal i wanted to get between eight to twelve but i had a rusty start and it's already been a good few hours so i want to make sure that i just get to 20 and we'll call it there tomorrow or the next brawler episode i'll probably get closer to that eight to twelve kill range probably like 10 but yeah the uh the start of this episode was not good at all everything i did was just wrong and the the luck was against me for sure and the big time killer is that when i've died i've died a couple times at the boss room so i've just wasted like 10 minutes you know another route i considered about a week ago was just going with the full ranged route that's why i was going for like ranged upgrades because i think range is probably a little bit better at tol than melee is but i also want to do my next skills and again i'm going to be doing that in the future but it's going to be a little bit unique on how i do that i could also just fill up all my slots with my ranged perks and i could also have like overloaded so it would be rapid fire sharpshooter overloaded that would help with the perks a lot and also the damage and just consistent why am I lagging so much? What the hell? Anyways, it would just be good with ranged, but again, I went with melee because I'm also doing next. All right, this kill was definitely the most stressful one because I had some close calls with the Elder Chaotic Mall and Curses coming through at the exact same time, so I did actually switch over to the Rapier. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing that, but for that kill, things just went really wrong a lot of the time, so I just did the quick switch. And for the final key today, hopefully I get an item. It's going to happen sooner or later, so let's just have it happen now. And I get a crystal or a raid 
seeds escape teleport. I almost called it a crystal teleport seed, but yeah, nothing too good there. The drops will come though. The rates aren't too ridiculous. So within the next couple of episodes, I should get at least one drop, maybe a couple drops. In the future episodes where I do TOL, I want to make sure I'm getting at least eight kills done. Again, I was a little bit rusty at the beginning of this and I had some unfortunate luck. So I'm only doing five today, but in the future, I should definitely get at least eight done. And sometimes I'll even do more than eight because if I do eight perfect runs and I'm using the rapier and I'm not getting combat out by the curses, markings, and the elder chaotic mall, then I should be able to get a lot of kills those days. Just going to keep doing the same thing that I've been doing though and waiting for the drops to come in. Again, I'm just here for the cash. So the drops is the only thing I care about. I mean, getting a bowstring would be great. A rapier, chaotic longsword. I mean, pretty much anything here would be good. I lost my damn Borky pet though. I mean, I got four in one episode and I sold three of them for AP, which is probably not the smartest thing because having a backup would have been nice, but then I'd lost the final Borky, so now I got nothing but my Necromancer pet. So I might have to do a few things to try to get a pet because um, having just one isn't really that great for the long term. I want to be able to have two so I can drop them. 